Welcome, Natalie here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to make stress your friend. Nowadays, we are bombarded with stress in our life from our cell phones going off all the time, text messages, social media, work, family, kids. Life can be overwhelming at times. So, since we all deal with stress on a daily basis, it's important to learn a little bit more about stress and how to deal with that, how to handle it, and how to use it to your advantage. There are some wonderful benefits to stress if you know how to use it correctly. In this video, you are going to learn what happens to your body when you're under stress, some of the causes of stress. You're gonna learn some of the risk factors and some of the positive stuff that comes along with stress and how to use stress to your advantage to actually empower you and lift you up in a lot of ways in your life. Let's begin with talking about some causes of stress. So stress comes from when we leave the present moment and we get caught up in our thoughts. We may be worrying about the future, we may be having some anxiety, some fears, there may be some suppressed emotions that you haven't been dealing with and those are kind of floating around in your body and in the back of your mind somewhere, and that can be causing you some stress. Um, even simple things like multitasking, overloading yourself with too many things, having poor time management, particularly when you're multitasking, if you've got a lot going on, those types of things can cause you stress. So stress can come from everyday things. It can be come from a true fear for your life. But in this day and age, there's a lot of small stresses you know, and, and most of it comes from just the repetitive thoughts in our mind, from the little things in life that start to pile up, or that worry or fear of the future, or maybe you're thinking about something that happened in the past and you're afraid it's going to happen again in a new life situation. And so those are some of the things that we deal with on a current daily basis when it comes to stress. Inherently, if we go back hundreds of years ago, stress came from an actual life-threatening situation. So maybe there was, you're out in the jungle and there's a lion coming after you and you see it in the distance. There's gonna be a true stress response in your body and that is a fear for your life, which is a little different than the stress that we have today. Stress today can come from very small things um, and more from the everyday little things that start to pile up in our minds uh, and in our life that start to create this kind of ongoing stress. The physical symptoms of stress are created in our body in order to help us deal with the situation at hand. So once upon a time, if we saw a lion in the jungle and they were chasing us, we were having this very specific physiological reaction to that kind of stress in order to help prepare us. Our blood pressure and our heart rate start to rise glucose actually starts to travel into the muscles of your body so that you're ready to run and the blood vessels also start to constrict so these are all great things because if we're in a moment where we have to flee for our life then we can our body is actually getting ready for that uh, but it's also meant to be a short-term stress response enough to get us out of the situation that we're in so it's typically a flight fight or freeze mode depending on what the situation is. Now, if we have this stress response and it's for a short period of time, it's perfectly healthy, perfectly normal. But unfortunately, we live in a day and age where we're under chronic stress. There are things that we're thinking about on a daily basis that are bogging us down from life, uh, from work, from family. And instead of it being a very short stress response, it lasts a bit longer. It can last for hours, days, and months even. And to be in this chronic state with that kind of a stress response in our physical body, it can benefit us, but most likely for most people it doesn't, unless you know how to deal with that kind of stress properly. So that's what we're gonna learn today, is how to start dealing with that stress response in a much more positive, healthy way. The risks of stress. So you may hear that stress is really harmful for your body. Well, there have been some studies done and it's not necessarily true. If you believe stress is bad for you, then it can harm your body. 
But if you live with the belief that stress is not bad for you, then most of those people don't actually have a lot of the adverse effects of stress. The people that do believe that stress is bad for them end up getting things like heart attacks, uh, chronic high blood pressure, more headaches, maybe difficulty sleeping, uh, memory loss, more in a chronic state of stress and we're under the impression that it's not to be good in that state, we actually have a harder time learning. We have a harder time uh, being in the moment and a harder time with our memory as well. So these are a lot of symptoms and side effects that come from believing that stress is bad for your body. And there's a long list of things that you may be able to research and find elsewhere, but in reality, stress can be used in a very positive way. So some of the positive reactions from stress is it actually makes you more social. It releases oxytocin in your body, which is extremely helpful in building connections between you and your loved ones and your friends. It actually helps to heal the heart. So it can be used in a very good way. It can help you bond and have this want and desire to interact with your friends and family more, to help you build that deeper connection of venting about your stress, which can, which can be very healthy for you. Now, some interesting little facts is, the people that actually uh, believed that stress was a good thing in their body, they had some very similar physical reactions, but then there were also some, some shifts. So earlier on when we were talking about what happens in your body, your heart rate increases, your blood pressure increases, and then glucose starts to go into the muscles of your body to help you for that fight or flight. Well, the other symptom was constriction of the blood vessels. Now, if any of you out there get chronic headaches, tension headaches, migraines, most likely you're having a very similar response in your body where the blood vessels, instead of being nice and open, start to constrict. And it can cause a lot of pounding and throbbing in the head and other areas of your body it can contribute to some of the chronic pain and similar things like that. But those who believe that stress was good for them, their blood vessels were more relaxed. They actually went with the flow of the stress and allowed themselves to be one with the stress instead of feeling like they had to fight against the stress. When we start to create tension in the body during our stress response, we actually start to tighten up a bit and we create pressure within the body. But if you start to notice the stress response rising up in your body and you start to feel some of that, take a few deep breaths and start to breathe into it. Allow the muscles in your face, in your head, in your neck and shoulders to relax and breathe deeper. Your body is having this stress response because you need a certain amount of power in your body to get through whatever situation you're going through. You may not have a lion chasing after you, but you may have a big work project that needs to get done in the next 48 hours, and you need to get really focused. So instead of allowing that pressure to kind of weigh on your body and build up tension, which will make you more foggy brained and less able to think clearly, use it to your advantage. <sighs> breathe deeply, breathe into that stress, allow your muscles to relax into it, and instead of feeling stress as a negative, you may actually start to feel more empowered. You may start to feel more joy and courage, more excitement and power rise up within you. That stress response is happening because it's triggering your body to say, breathe deeper. Allow yourself to actually breathe deeply into your belly and exhale. Use that oxygen within you to create more power, more excitement instead of the negatives of stress. Transition and transform that energy in your body for something wonderful, something powerful, and allow it to help you to rise up out of the stressful situation and become a problem solver through deep oxygen breathing and through allowing yourself to get excited about this moment instead of letting it weigh you down, constricting yourself and restricting, restricting the potential that you have for that particular situation.
Now that you know how to use stress to increase your power and transition it from a negative stress response of tension into a powerful, exhilarating, deep breathing moment, you have the power to change your stress response. So just be aware when you do start to feel your body going into the stress response and question how you're reacting to it because you can use that deep breathing and that power and embracing that stress response to allow you to lift yourself up. You may recognize that perhaps the stress response isn't even necessary. Maybe it's just the thoughts running in your head and there's no deadline. There's nothing that's in immediate danger right now. And instead, you can use your deep breathing to relax your body, relax your mind, and transition from that stress response into a calmer state. By being aware of your stress response and utilizing your stress response to either go from a state of practicing how to relax into it or how to use it to lift you up, you become much more resilient. You become much more in your own power and in control of your life. Stress can be a wonderful thing for you if you're aware of it and you know how to use it in order to benefit you and your life. So start to make stress your friend instead of fighting against it so much. A lot of the turmoil in our life comes from having a resistance to what's going on. But if we can be aware of our current situation, whether it's in the external environment around us, or maybe just those thoughts that keep rummaging through your head of worry, of fear, of anxiety, whatever it may be, creating that awareness and having a couple of really great tactics for how to start transitioning your life into a better direction, taking control, stepping into your power, you can utilize this stress for good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some wonderful tactics, a better understanding about your body, your stress response, and how you can start to change your life, start to empower yourself, become more resilient, and step into your power. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more videos like this that help you to create a more powerful life the life that you've always dreamed of. And also share this if you know of anyone that might be able to utilize this video and these tactics in their own life. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll put some other videos in the description below so that you can um, experience some similar concepts and ideas that you may enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and have a wonderful blessed day.